Hello and welcome to our video. Today in this video we are going to talk about forming urine. Bubbles in urine are common but form is not. It is quite important to understand the difference between these two. Whenever we urinate, bubbles create. This is usually due to the speed of urine flow. Bubbles are bigger, clear and flushable but form is different from bubbles. We all have bubbles in the toilet after urinate but on the other hand form is a bit different it's white and stays in the toilet even after you flush. So after understanding the difference the question rises what is the reason of formy urine? Formy urine is a sign of protein in the urine which is not normal. Actually when kidneys are not functioning properly they start spilling the protein which they should keep it in the body and if kidneys are releasing protein into the urine it means they are not working properly. A lot of people ask us about how will they identify if they are dealing with this disorder or not. So let me tell you, you can know about it with the help of a simple urine test. A urine test can confirm if you have protein in your urine and how much. This is called proteinuria which means presence of protein in urine. As the amount of protein increases in urine, amount of form also increases. Many of you would have a question, why urine is becoming formy? What is the root cause of a formy urine? Actually when the kidneys are damaged, the nephrons of kidneys are unable to hold protein and too much protein leaks into your urine. This amount of protein in urine shows the function of the kidneys. If you have nil protein or traces in urine even if you have high creatinine level, it is clear indication that the condition of the kidneys are stable. The condition is no more deteriorating. It means patient's urea and creatinine level neither increases nor decreases and the condition is stable. But if the urine level shows 1 plus, 2 plus or 3 plus, it shows the damage of kidney that already has happened. Now let's also learn how can we do this test at home or get tested from lab. This test is done by these strips, huh? these, okay. These same strips are used in lab. You can buy this and test at home as well. Now. I will practically show you what and how we need to do. First of all, take your first urine of the day in a disposal glass, then take a strip. There is a yellow paper at the strip. You just have to dip the strip in the urine and take it out. Yes, that's it. Now you will see the yellow paper's color will turn into green. Green color shows presence of protein in urine and it also indicates the level of protein in it. There is a reference range with color variation and amount of protein on the bottle of the strip from where you can just simply, you can easily match the color of your strip. So the presence of protein in urine is a clear indication of damage that is going on in kidney at present. The more you lose protein, the more complication you face because we all know protein is essentially required for our body to function properly to create hemoglobin. When you spill too much of protein, your blood gets thinner and it starts accumulated in your legs. Your legs get swelled and we call this problem pitting edema. Yes, it is called pitting edema. Moreover, this fluid can also accumulate in your lungs and cause problems like suffocation and nervousness. So this is how we learn two things from this dipstick test. If we are losing protein or not and if yes, then in what range? When you learn about this disorder, it is very important to put a pause to this condition and of course to stop this problem we need to check your diabetes level, blood pressure or if there is some other reason that is affecting your kidneys. Once the doctor gets to know about the root cause of your problem, he will put a pause on the root cause only. So that is the damage gets controlled. 
whether it is high blood pressure or high blood sugar levels we need first to control them to stop the failing health of kidneys if the root cause is controlled most of the problem is solved there only doctors also believe that kidney disease is self progressive disease sometimes it keeps on increasing despite the medication like cancer here comes the responsibility of reversing the damage yes now we have to focus on increasing the kidney's function and decreasing the amount of creatinine and urea from the body that is how we can improve the health of the patient although we all know that diabetes and high blood pressures are the major cause of kidney disease but an interesting fact to note here is that not all bp or diabetes patient deal with kidney problems only one out of four diabetes or bp patient deal with this problem the reason behind this is our cellular strength yes similarly to our body strength the strength of our cells also differs from one another people who have more cellular strength and have more healthy kidneys are less likely to have kidney disease so now to reverse the damage on kidneys we need to give strength to our kidneys with the help of herbal medicines of course the more powerful your kidney will be it will be easy for them to fight the disease it is very important for us to not to avoid foamy urine and get an immediate lab test when you notice it you can also do this dipstick test at your home meanwhile another important thing to keep a watch is your diet a healthy balanced diet is really important in this condition many doctors suggest their patients to avoid protein in their diet which results in losing the strength of your muscles and body mass it mostly results in the worsening the condition of patient because you are losing the protein in your urine but you are not taking it so it is important for you to take a healthy diet that boost your health especially the health of your kidneys if you take a healthy and a rich diet your weight sustains which is really important one more important thing sometimes protein deficiency and swelling are not the sign of kidney disease yes we mostly understand that these are symptoms of kidney problems but even in disturbed thyroid both these symptoms are common it is called hypothyroidism in this case also you should get yourself tested two tests you should perform are thyroid test urine test you should report to your doctor as soon as you see any inflammation so that's all for today's video i hope this information was useful to you if you think this information was useful please like the video and share it to your family and friends it might be helpful for them to know more about us or to consult with our experts please feel free to call on the numbers flashing on the screen you can also book appointments on the same number